Welcome back to Headlines Today. We want to get you back to that story that uh, Headlines Today has exclusive details on. Uh, sources within the Aam Aadmi Party suggesting that Arvind K. G. Wal may step down as Chief Minister if the Jan Lokpal bill is stalled by the Aam Aadmi Party's allies. The Congress, we still have Ankit Tyagi, our correspondent with us, who has exclusive details on this development. Uh, Ankit, uh, we, we had to interrupt you there because we ran out of time, but uh, please continue with, uh, with these details. Uh, Pierre, as I was telling you, there was a high-level meeting of the Aam Aadmi Party uh, Political Accounts Committee uh, yesterday that took place. Uh, and uh, in that meeting, in fact, it was decided that uh, the government, uh, is, there is absolutely no point in considering the government uh, if uh, the General Fall Bill is not passed. Now, what the Aam Aadmi Party uh, sources have decided is that uh, they will, uh, if, Arvin, if the, even if the Congress now tries to uh, walk out of the House uh, saying that... Uh, uh, they will. Uh, they will. Uh, they, they do not support the General Lokpal bill because it is unconstitutional. Even then, Kejriwal will resign as soon as tomorrow evening. They are not going to vote. Uh, wait for the vote on the and the, uh, vote on the bill and discussion on it. Uh, we have been told that uh, uh, that uh, Arvind Kejriwal wants to uh, put pressure on the Congress government uh, on the Congress uh, MLAs. In fact. He has made it absolutely clear, clear that uh, even a walkout will be termed as non-support from uh, their ally in, in the Delhi government and that will also be the cause for Arvind Kejriwal resigning. They want, uh, a lot of people are uh, taking it as a very tactical suicide attempt by Arvind Kejriwal who wants to go as a martyr on corruption in the 2014 elections. Also, Arvind Kejriwal wants to put himself in a, in a very, uh, you know, win-win situation as of now. Uh, uh, if uh, the bill uh, is passed because of his ta pressure tactic, then he cl uh, takes claim, uh, he claims credit for it. And if it does not, then he goes as a, as a martyr in the 2014 election. Remember, the, the, the ball is now in the Congress. This court Congress yesterday had said that uh, they, uh, they will think about the bill if it is uh, presented because they, are, they, uh, they think that it is unconstitutional. There are certain provisions that do not concur with the bill that has been passed uh, uh, in uh, the uh, country, uh, the John Lokpal bill, of, uh, which is passed by the parliament. But they also thought, uh, they also said that they will continue to support the government. They, and uh, made it very clear, Mr. Lovely yesterday made it very clear, they might walk out if they find the bill to be unconstitutional. But now hmm. Kejriwal again uh, putting the ball uh, back into their court saying that even if the Congress walks out, he will pull the plug. So uh, a very tactical move by the Aam Aadmi Party, but um, the, the route and the plan is ready. And if by tomorrow uh, the co Congress does not come out in full support of the General Pal bill when it, when it is introduced in the Assembly, then uh, Arvind Kejriwal will pull the plug and resign as the Chief Minister of uh, National uh, The Canada. other side to this, uh, Ankit, is as you were talking about the, the, the so-called tactical suicide of uh, Arvind Kejriwal becoming a martyr ahead of the, the general elections, is uh, is how this actually appears to voters because in some senses many of them have already f uh, left the congress if you want to put it that way uh, they were looking at the bjp as an alternative this could actually end up uh, hurting the bjp even more than it does the congress well absolutely uh, you know uh, this, that is why that is why it's a, it's a very clever move uh, what kejriwal wants to do is if the government falls on an issue like the jan lokpal and not on something which, the, which Congress and the BJP have been attacking the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, like non-government, uh, like uh, non-performance of uh, on the or the promises that Kejriwal has made, then it will be easier for him to go into the people, not only for the 2014 elections, but also uh, for um, the, when the, for the re-elections in Delhi. So he wants to position himself um, as as somebody who is sticking by principle and uh, want to be seen in the public as some as somebody who wants to deliver on the issue of corruption that has been the main plank by the party if that does not happen he will pull the plug he doesn't want to govern uh, but uh, there are the critiques uh, are also saying that it is a very uh, in, clever escape route that Arvind Kejriwal has uh, in fact chosen he he was waiting for something like this to happen and he knows that he has not been able to govern properly all that of course uh, will be the charges and the counter charges between the opposition and the ruling party but one thing is very clear that uh, this session of the assembly will be explosive and now all eyes will be whether the it's not about the passage of the Lokpal bill or not it's about whether the government in Delhi survives uh, this uh, session or not the, and, and, and of course, uh, it opens the gate uh, for Arvind Kejriwal to then uh, perhaps uh, run as uh, the Aam Aadmi Party's prime ministerial candidate in uh, the general elections, if, if he is indeed planning on that. 
Well, that of course uh, is now a possibility, uh, Pierre. But uh, one thing is clear that even if Arvind Kejriwal remains the chief minister of uh, Delhi, uh, he will be the main face of the party. Uh, but not, they will not project him as the prime ministerial candidate, but it will be under his leadership the election will be fought. In fact, uh, when asked about uh, why doesn't Kejriwal come openly, they said they also are using the BJP model, saying that the Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi is a prime ministerial candidate, but he has still not given up uh, uh, his uh, uh, post as a Chief Minister of Gujarat. So using the, the BJP's uh, game plan uh, to trump them. And apart from that, uh, remember, uh, 2014 elections, they want to make corruption the major poll plank for the Ahmadni Party. Uh, they know that it will be difficult for them to fight uh, across the country with the with the kind of uh, a minimal uh, structure that they have been able to build up and they do not have time. In fact, uh, all the energies were, in De- were put into Delhi election and now it's just uh, three to four months. Uh, right. uh, uh, Ankit, uh, stay with me. I understand that uh, the BJP's uh, Harshvardhan, uh, Dr. Harshvardhan, that was Dr. Harshvardhan of the BJP talking about this Jan Lokpal bill. I'm told we now have uh, Ashutosh, who is a member of the Aam Aadmi Party, a senior member of that, uh, joining us on the phone line. Ashutosh, thank you for speaking to Headlines today. Uh, Dr. Harshvardhan saying, uh, in fact, first, I, I want you to comment on the reports now that are coming out that Arvind Kejriwal could resign as chief minister if the Jan Lokpal bill is not supported by the Congress. See, it's not a question of Jan Lokpal will supported by Congress or not by Congress. It, it's a question of our commitment. Our commitment is that there should be a strong Jan Lokpal bill if we want eradication of corruption from this country or if we want a corruption-free India. Uh, I, I have a strong reason to believe that the BJP and the Congress, they have formed an alliance to stop Jan Lokpal bill. And it's a classic example how BJP and the Congress, who try to fight with each other in, uh, at the national level, but when it comes to, the, to fighting corruption, they are into an alliance. And this is I'm very, very serious on this. The BJP and the Congress, they have formed an alliance to fight Jan Lokpal bill. They, they don't want corruption to be eradicated from this country, and that is why they are in alliance. Because if BJP has got a Yadurappa, then Congress has got uh, a Raja. Sure. So, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, very classic alliance between these two national political parties. And I think Narendra Modi and Arun Jaitley both should explain that why they are in alliance with Congress on this question, why they do not want to support the Jan Lokpal bill. And the Jan Lokpal bill, which has been the most debated, discussed uh, bill ever in Indian political history sure. since 1964 onwards, and first time it was mentioned during the Nehru's time, and, uh, and it is almost... 50 years and if still uh, BJP wants it to, to be discussed, I'm afraid right. what they are planning. Uh, Ashutosh, I want to come back to that point because as you mentioned, if the BJP mm. and Congress are in, in your view in an alliance, mm. if they, they would not be supporting the Jan Lokpal bill. Will Arvind Kejriwal step down if they don't vote in its favour? See, we are not, we, like, like BJP and the Congress, we are not here to be, uh, to stick to the uh, to the chair of Chief Minister. So he we could step down, to... you're saying? He could step down if the bill is not passed? Ar- Arvind Kejriwal made it very clear. Jan Lokpal will as our commitment. And for the Jan Lokpal bill, if we have to sacrifice the Chief Ministership for 100 times, we'll go ahead. We will not hesitate. But, but then if he the steps Chief down, the bill will never be passed. Sorry? If he steps down, the bill will never be passed. No, it, it's, a, it's a question of whether they want to, because we, we, we realize that we don't, do not have majority in the, in the assembly. Yeah. If we do not have majority in the assembly, that means we can't, we can't uh, get it passed on our own. We need support. If, if BJP and the Congress, they, 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 they'll support the bill, it will be a law within, within minutes. But they don't, want, they don't want to fight corruption. All right. They do not want to fight corruption. That is why they are putting all kinds of obstacles, all kinds of hurdles. Let, let's and get that into the... Exposes their, that exposes their sure. honesty to fight corruption. Let, let's get into the details of what Dr. Harshvardhan just said. He said uh, we are 100% committed to the fighting uh, to fighting corruption uh, with with the law in the assembly. But we would have liked if the Ahmadi Party had brought the bill to us in his draft form at least 48 hours before it wanted to table the uh, the bill. I think her, I have I have a great respect for Harshvardhan because I always believe that he he is a clean politician and he believes into the clean politics. But Harshvardhan should also know that the 48 hours. Uh, it, it, this bill was scheduled to be passed and introduced in assembly on 16th of this month. Why he is in hurry? Wait for 48 hours. If it is not distributed, only then they can complain. I think he's, he's, he's jumping the gun or he's getting restless because if this bill becomes a law, then the people, very, very senior people at the BJP at the national level and at the regional level and the state level will be behind the bars. And that BJP do not want. And that is why Harshwardhan is getting panicky on this issue. What about the claims that there are uh, portions of the bill that are unconstitutional? 
BJP. The, that, that's what I'm saying. The legal brains of the BJP find it unconstitutional. What about the Attorney General, ex-Attorney General Soli Sharad Ji, who was Attorney General when Atal Bihari Vajpayee's government was there. And, and he was Attorney General of the BJP government, not Congress government or the Arvind Kejriwal government. Read what he, has, what he has said. He has made it very clear that this dictate of uh, Home Ministry 2002 is illegal, unconstitutional, null and void. And he's, 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 he has he's gone to the extent of saying that this was an attempt to make I'm, I'm, I'm repeating, this was an attempt to make Delhi government and the Delhi Assembly as a department of Central Home Ministry. Is it uh, what, what BJP has to say on Soli Sarabji's uh, this statement and his, 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 these words? Be that as it may, you would first need to challenge that order in court, get it uh, overturned and then pass the bill because without that, if that order is still in place, the bill cannot be passed. We believe that this this order itself is unconstitutional. Where, what is, where, where is the question of following it? If, how how can how can a legitimate elected government follow an unconstitutional illegal uh, illegal law? So you still need to challenge it in court. Sorry. You Sorry? still need to challenge it in court. I'm saying that if uh, if if uh, our act. Uh, uh, will be illegal, then the court will decide. All right, Ashutosh, wait, if, wait you could, if you could just hang on for a second because we have Aarti Mehra from the BJP who's with us on the phone line as well. Uh, Aarti, Ashutosh from the Aam Party saying that uh, it was Soli Sarabji, the Attorney General during the NDA, who himself has said that this order of the Ministry of Home Affairs is illegal, therefore uh, th there is no unconstitutionality as Dr. Harshwadhan was saying uh, earlier. No, basically, uh I very clearly one can see that Kedriwal is looking for an escape route. Uh, this is not constitutional as the Solicitor General has said. And uh, you see, the, uh, he is looking a way out. Now, it, there is a big question because Aam Admi Party has not been able to run the government, that's why. He is looking for a way out to get out of the system and so that he can focus on the Lok Sabha election. If, if uh, Mr. K. G. Wall steps down, there, there is, a, there is a, an understanding that yes. he might actually become a sort of martyr for the cause, that he goes into the general elections and even stronger uh, voice uh, fighting corruption that's going to hurt the BJP because everyone who supports the BJP is already anti-Congress, but here they have an alternative to the BJP. I would like to make it very clear here, as far as BJP is concerned, our stand towards Jan Lokpal is very supportive. We are all for the Jan Lokpal bill and we have supported it wholeheartedly in the central uh, Lokpal bill also in the center also. So now, you see, it, it is only a matter between Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party. BJP is just saying that we need to discuss. Sure. We, the MLAs should have a draft copy which they should be able to read, they should be able to interact, they should be able to put their initiative, their mind also. But you see, I wonder how, you know, there are so many bills come but in this particular, why he wants to go so unconstitutional? He can go legally. There is no problem. And uh, BJP is supporting. And I, I think uh, the Jan Lokpal bill, which is which supposed to be the Lokayuk bill for Delhi, this was initially introduced by our uh, previous uh, chief minister, Shri Madanlal Khurana ji. And uh, you see, he can make it more sense and he can make a new Lokayuk, but he wants to make a, he wants to call it a Jan Lokpal bill for Delhi, okay? But why unconstitutional? All right, I, I want to come back to that point you're making, Aarti Mehra, because uh, Ashutosh has just said that they, they would, they, they, they've long said that they will table the bill on the 16th of February. There are still three days for that, and Dr. Hushwa then said we would like at least 20, uh, at least 48 hours uh, to, to study the bill, to debate it, so there's still time. If you are given those 48 Dr. hours. Yes, Will you Dr. vote in favor Dr. of the bill? Dr. Harshwadhan is very, like he is telling very categorically, of course, uh, but it's such an important bill and one needs to read. We are the single largest party and we would like to put our input. The party would like to give our details also in that. 
if any amendment is required party would definitely suggest that also so in that case what is the problem so you will support the jan lokpal bill if if the if the aam aadmi party gives you time to study it and it takes into consideration any suggestions you may have we will we will definitely we are all for it there is no question it was only the concern of illegality or unconstitutional otherwise you see bjp's mind is very very clear and i personally feel it's the match fixing of uh, congress and aam aadmi party all right arti mera many thanks for speaking to headlines today arti mera of the of the bjp saying they will support the jan lokpal bill if the aam aadmi party gives them time to study it and takes into consideration any suggestions the bjp may have jp agarwal of the congress spoke just a short while ago on this developing story let's listen into what he had to say